What's crack a lack and candle crew? This is your main man, Quinn Stefan, coming at you with episode 3 of our Pokemon White Ultimate Randomized Nuzlocke. And in the last episode, we met N, we met Getsis, uh, and Team Plasma, and they were talking about Pokemon Liberation, all kind of stuff like that. Um, and I don't know, how do you feel about that? I don't know, I don't know, do we want to liberate Pokemon? I mean, I'm all for, I'm all for the rights of Pokemon, I don't want to have any, like, Pokemon fights, or, well, Pokemon is about Pokemon fighting, but, like, unethical Pokemon fights, where we just pin them against each other, and I'm pretty much bashing Pokemon right now, because that's what it is, but we're not going to talk about that, because it's fun to play. But anyways, in this episode, we're going to, we're going to move on and go to the next route. We're going to explore the city, though, first, uh, and before, even before that, before the first of the first, we're going to have a party update, our Steel-type Duosion! Named Flubber, with Sniper, no item, Judgment, Skull Bash, Signal Beam, and Iron Tail. With, I can't even begin to explain how scary it is having paper defenses like this. Having a Steel type with paper defense is scary. It's terrifying. But I noticed this, I pointed it out to Ben, uh, Nurse Joy, when you're back here, doesn't have a face. It's gone. You, you stand up and she's like, there she is, and you're over here and it's like, my face is gone. Which is kind of creepy, but we're going to continue. I'm going to continue right now. Let's go and explore the town. Is there a house down here? Over here? No, there's not. Alright, let's go. Is there an item up there, though? That's the, that's the main question. If it's a house, so, so if it's a house, it's a house. But if it's an item, it's an item. And items are better than houses, in my opinion. Unless the items house houses, items and items in houses and... I'm just going to stop talking, because my English is... There's some items. Hello, sir. <coughs> Love this place, do you? Do you really? This is a cool house. Nice on on top of things. Chick quip. Chick quip. Ah. Yes. Add that piano. Add the drums. Add the drums. Yes. Hey. 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 Them drums, you can suddenly hear them in the back, but they're jamming. Oh man, one more reason why I wish uh, I had a face cam on this LP is because you guys, I was jamming right there and you guys couldn't see me. <sighs> That's uh, LP for Newton another time. Guess what? Another Pokemon I remember him and he he. Cool. It's an LP for another time because apparently my computer can't handle. Um... Stop, stop, stop. Come here, come here. Someone give me an item. That's all. That's the only reason I'm in here. That's the only reason I'm in here. Trash can, will you? I'm trying to find a master ball in a trash can one of these days. Hello, old man. Oh. Oh. He's a guru. It's good to know. It's good to know. Into this last house. If there's nothing in here, I'm going to be a little bit sad. A little bit sad. Love is important. Come on! Give me an item! A Patrab. Oh, we got a Pokeball. We got a Pokeball. A Pokeball! I mean, I guess it's, that's pretty good in this part of the game. Yes! Grass! Aw. Fire! Ah! Why? Fire again. Yes! That, what? I thought you were going to give me something for winning. You conniving little girl. Patrat, Patrat, come here. Come here, Patrat. Scree, scree! Alright, let's get out of this town. There's no item. <laughs> get out of my way! Get out of my way! Alright, moving onwards. Onwards and forwards. Hello, sir. Good afternoon! Electric bulletin. Give me an item, please. Someone give me an item. Give me an item, please. Someone, someone give me an item. X, the cross transceiver is ringing. I think it's mom, if I remember correctly. Yep. Quinn, it's your mom. How are things? It's your mom. Are you and your Pokemon set getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you. I'm gonna give her a British accent, I like it. So I called. But I'm going to hang up. What the... What the... What? <laughs> Come 
Mom, you're confusing. I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were something trite and city, so I have a present for you. Yes! Running shoes, running shoes, gonna run around in the running shoes. Hold that B button, just kidding, I'm on a keyboard, so I'm holding next. Hey! <laughs> Perfect. Alright, let's see if we can get past this person and get an encounter. Give me something that I can catch that won't sacred sword me and oko me. A marsh tomp! That's so nice. I like marsh tomp. We're gonna judgment. Hopefully, you won't body us. Judgment! Boom. Okay, let's get him out. Gust. Oh, I'm so okay with you using gust. So okay with you using gust. Critical hit. Calm down, mate. We're just gonna throw a ball. We have 11 of them. We're gonna throw one of them. You want us to stay in one? That'd be nice. Toss. Drop. Wiggle. 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 Click. Why? Dark Void! If we can catch this thing, I'm gonna be very happy. I'm gonna be very happy, because this thing's got Dark Void and that's nice. That's so very nice. I don't want to hit it again, because, like, crits are a thing, and I have Sniper. Just stay in the ball, mate. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! We have another member! Psychic Dark Type! Hello? Hello? Someone say Malamar? Pretty sure that's what it is. It's sturdy legs, give it sure footing, even in mud it burrows into dirt to sleep. That's amazing. What is your name? What is it gonna be? What is your name gonna be? Marsh Tomp. You're a boy. Boy Marsh Tomp. Manly Marsh Tomp. Manly Marsh. Marshly. Marty. Marty the Marsh Tomp. You guys can you guys can tell that I am a master at naming Pokemon. Marty the Marsh Tomp here. Let me just jot that down to make sure I don't forget to add him on the layout. Boom. Marty the Marsh Tomp coming through. And now, I'm gonna throw Marty out front. What the heckles? Let's do it. You're holding something. What are you holding? Normal gem. Last resort. Oh no. Dang. Psycho Boost? That's stab. This attack recoil harshly reduces the user's special attack. Not bad. Not bad. For some, for whatever reason, when I saw it, um, what, whatchamacallit? Let me see this item first, actually, before I battle that girl. A cherry berry. Uh, I thought that last resort was final gambit, and I was like, oh, never. Never in the ever. Never in the ever. So, you've got Gust and Psycho Boost to hit me with, and I am immune to one of those. Couldn't get away. Oh my gosh, now both of my moms are asleep. Just leave me alone, I gotta go heal up because of you now. Run, please get away. It makes perfect sense, a sleeping Marty can get away from uh, something that an awake Marty couldn't. That's just how the cookie crumbles, though. But we've got our running shoes, so we can zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom 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 Go 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 Nurse Joy with the face Nurse Joy with the face Not said Nurse Joy with the face Alright I think now we've got an actual like nice place to have fun times and go over the Bible verse of the day and the question of the day. The other two episodes were kinda like all over the place and stuff. Uh, so, Babble Verse of the Day for episode number three of our Pokemon White. What's my right mind? I don't know who the Nuzlocke. Oh, you don't even want to battle. Nope. It's going to be 1 Corinthians 2 1 through 3. And that states, And so it was with me. I'm going to go for a. 
Dark Void. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom, as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. Now, this was written by Paul. This was indeed, wow. This was indeed written by Paul. How much is this going to do? Ugh. Spite! Don't spite me. Dang it! Well, we gotta switch out now, because Gus is gonna do nothing. I just wanted to get some experience from Marty here. Uh, this was written by Paul, and he's saying triple kick? He crit us! There's already, already a death. Already a death. Already a death. Friggin' Flubber died already, Ben. <laughs> I'm so sad. He got crit triple kicked. Ugh. No, just one. But he would have lived it if it was if they were just all three normal hits. Uh, now I've got to train up. Well, I've got to box, homie. My and oh man, my only like good move on Marsh Tom reduces his special attack harshly. So that's not fun. But we're gonna box you. We're gonna move and go into box number eight. And we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it. Death. <coughs> Ew. Robbie. That was a terrible sneeze. Death. Okay. Here goes our beautiful sniping flubber. You have huge power! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot to check you, like your summary. Mild nature. What are your stats like? You've got minus defense plus special attack. But you have freaking huge power. That's terrible. Ugh. So we, I literally have to grind right now. Um, so I think I'm going, because this episode's only 13 minutes long, so I think I might speed this part up and you guys can watch the grinding and then I will go ahead and uh, resume when I'm done grinding. Uh, but here we go, here starts the grinding.
Alright, we are back here. I just grinded for about, eh, 10, 15 minutes. We got Marty up to level 10. Come on, come on. Click into the window. Click it. There we go. We got Marty up to level 10. If you just skipped, uh, I don't blame you, but Marty's level 10. Still holding the normal gem. I could take it off of him. Uh, and he learned Shell Smash. Now, I don't know when we're going to use it. Uh, I don't know why I just clicked out. I don't know when we're going to use it, but I mean, it's always fun to have because look at that. It lowers our defenses, but sharply attack special attack and speed. Look at that. If we ever get a if we ever get a white herb, I'm saving that for like gym battle elite four type thing. But let's actually make progress. Um, I'm gonna. This episode will probably be a little bit longer because I actually want to do something in it instead of just losing a mon and then grinding and then nothing happening. But, uh, oh, last patch of grass, of course. There's a Weavile. We're already level 10, so we should be good to go. I, honestly, okay, so, like, I know how Duotion died before, and I let it slide, but I ain't doing that again. So I'm not, I'm not about to lose this lock, uh, by getting bodied by something. So, Vanipede comes out. Level 7. We're gonna, we're gonna cycle cut this thing. Did I heal up? I think I did. I hope I did. Drought, drought, venipede. All right. We got a psycho boost. Okay, okay. That's super effective. So venipede, I mean, you might still be poison type. I don't know. Be a fighting type? I don't really know. I really don't. Whoa, you're too strong. Thanks, man. Hello! Oh, you're gonna show me how to hop down ledges, aren't you? No, I don't want to see anything amazing. You? Alright, alright, thanks for the thanks for the heads up. Hello, ma'am. Come here. Let's battle. Let's battle. So I think if I I went over the Bible verse today, but I think I got bodied like mid question of the day, and then sad things happened, and so I stopped. That's super effective too. All right, alrighty then. Uh, so question of the day. This is kind of a fun one, uh, a very interactive one. You guys are gonna have to do some work in the comment section if you want to answer it. Uh, but what is your favorite joke to tell? It can be a knock-knock joke. It can be any kind of joke you want. But what is your favorite joke to tell? I know mine. And Ben definitely knows mine. <laughs> and I don't know whether or not I should put you guys through it. Because it's, uh, it's a joke. It's quite a joke. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell... I'm going to ask Ben. Ben's going to be the deciding factor. Ben? Should I? Ben says yes. All right. So this episode is going to be even longer. Alright, so let's start the joke off. So there's this rabbi, this Jewish rabbi, and he is on a boat. He's on a boat traveling the seas, and he's traveling the seas in order to find uh, some people to, to convert to Judaism. And so he, he lands on this island, and it looks kind of deserted, so he's like, uh, maybe people aren't here, but I'm just going to check it out anyway just to make sure. Uh, so he goes and he checks it out. Checks out that item. We got a swift wing. Here, let me just check these items first. A bug gem. All right. So he checks out the island, and he he discovers that there's a group of people there known as the Trids. Um, and the Trids have a dang it. I'm gonna finish the joke and we're ending the episode right here. I'm gonna because this joke is it, I just can't be interrupted like this. And so. He finds he finds the trids and he sets up shop. He sets up his little uh, his little his little um what are they, what are they called? I can't believe I'm forgetting the name. I know the name. The Jewish worship, place of worship synagogue. There it is. He sets up his own little synagogue and starts inviting people to come and to 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 celebrate Judaism with him with him. And after about a year, nothing happens. No one, not one person, has converted from the trid religion to Judaism. And so he goes after about a year, uh, or it's almost, it's almost a year. And after about that amount of time, he goes to the leader of the Trids, and he's like, Hey man, 
what is the deal with these people? Like, Judaism's not a bad religion. I don't know why they're not converting. It's, I've had no luck. And the chief of the Trids simply explains to him, the Trids have had their religion for thousands of years. And someone coming in and just setting up shop is not going to change them because they're just too, they're too devoted to their own religion. And so uh, the rabbi's like, oh, all right, I guess I'll, I'll pack up and move somewhere else and try, try my luck elsewhere. And so the leader of the Trids is like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. You can at least wait another week because at the end of this week is going to be the annual worshiping of the volcano god. Uh, day and that happens every year and um, the 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 rabbi happened to get there like right when it ended last year and so he waited a year and the the leader of the Tridge just wanted him to see their their worshiping of the volcano god ceremony because uh, apparently it's a pretty hype thing it's pretty cool it's pretty fun so the rabbi's like all right whatever I'll stay it's only a week I've been here for a year a week's not too much uh, too much time and so the next morning, um, or he, the next week, when he wakes up on the morning of the of the ritual, he wakes up and the town is completely abandoned. Everyone is gone. There's no one home. No one in the streets. And he looks over and he sees a line of people, a line of trids, lined up at the base of the volcano. And he goes over there and he's like ta- trying to ask around, and see what happens, but no one will talk to him. Uh, and so he's thinking, it might, this must be a serious day, like no talking allowed. And out of the nowhere, this huge, hairy, Chewbacca-looking beast jumps out of the volcano uh, and starts running down the mountain, <clears throat> running down the volcano. And so the rabbi's like, that must be the volcano god. If I had to choose what would be a volcano god, that's probably what it would look like. And so he starts running down. He gets to the first trid in line. He looks at him, smiles. The trid turns around, bends over, and the volcano god kicks him right in the butt. The Trid falls on the ground, uh, gets up, pat- brushes himself off, thanks the Volcano God, and leaves happy as can be. And at this point, like most other people, the rabbi is completely confused. No clue what's going on. And so this happens down the line. Two, three, ten, twenty, fifty people just getting kicked and being happy about it. And so the, the rabbi's like, okay, I gotta see what, what this is all about. Is this like some magical kick or something? And so he, he cuts in line to, to, to figure it out. The volcano god gets to the rabbi, and he looks at him, and then just moves to the next trid. And the rabbi's a little offended. He's like, what the heck? Why does this guy not want to kick me? Which is an odd thing to say, but, I mean, given the circumstance, why doesn't this guy want to kick me? And so he cuts in line again, later down in the line, and the same thing happens. And so he gets to the very end of the line, and his logic is like, well, I'm at the end of the line. He can't skip me. There's no one else to go to. And so... He's like, he's ready for it, he's ready for the moment. The Volcano God gets to him, looks at him, smiles, and turns around. Starts running right back up the volcano. And so the rabbi's like, nah, this is not happening. So he starts chasing after the Volcano God. Starts running and running and running, yelling at him like, hey man, why won't you kick me? Wait, wait. And so the Volcano God stops, turns around, smiles and says, silly rabbi, kicks her for trids. And that's it. <laughs> I know you guys hate me right now, so I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys. Actually, I've got to get through this text. I've got to get through this text. I can't believe I stepped in that in that patch of text of Oh, no. Well, I guess this is how we're ending the episode. Against Bianca. Not, again, not with my awful joke. This episode is going to be a little bit, a little bit of a lot of it longer. What do you got? What do you got for me? You got your poly. You got a polywag. That's cool. I like polywag. We have no more sounds. That's actually a problem. That's actually a problem. Okay, that's super effective though. That's nice. No, bone meringue. Eat it up, Marty. All right, all right. And I think, um, what was her, what was her last call? She had a, is she the one with the Hitmon top? Or the Hitmon Lee, I think? I think she has the Hitmon Lee. So this Poliwag is either a fight, part fighting, part grass, or part bug, right? We got a high roll there as well. Unless we crit, I didn't see it. I think we crit. 
maybe. Maybe a hot roll, maybe a crit. I don't know. Who do you, what do you have? You have him on there, okay. Gus would be great at this point, but... You're not a fighter type. So we're gonna put you to sleep. We're gonna dark void it up. I don't want you doing anything to me. I don't want you touching me. I don't want you... I don't want you kicking me with those feet of yours. Go to sleep. Close your eyes. Stay asleep, please. Because this gust probably won't do a lot. Uh, and that's not good. How much is it going to do? Oh, it's super effective as well. So you're either a fighting or grass type or a bug type. So that's good to know. See, I, I really, I don't know how it works. I tried to figure it out, but I don't know. I hope it works how, like, every, every marsh top in the game is going to be second dark. And, like, same thing goes for every other Pokemon. So that way we can at least, over time, learn some typings um, and be able to actually accurately pick a move to fight a certain Pokemon. But I don't know if that's going to be the case, hopefully, but we're going to have to find out. Did that give us a level? No. We defeated Pansy, and now we can end the episode. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Quinn. I'm going to work hard on training my Pokemon so I won't lose any more. Okay, bye-bye! Alright. This is going to end it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you let me know by clicking that like button. Make sure you let me know by leaving a comment. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to tell me your favorite joke because I let you sit through my awful joke. Um, but have a wonderful day and remember, light up the night.